21. I have a new backdrop, just temporary. We're actually in a hotel headed to Florida for Christmas. I'm so excited. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Does anybody know what movie that's from? If you do, I think Eddie Murphy. Post it down below in the comments. Um, we are headed to Florida for Christmas. We have been working really hard to get out the door. I know I'm behind in Vlogmas. <sighs> Vlogmas is hard, you guys. I filmed every day in April. I filmed every day in August. But this whole December thing, when you throw Christmas in the mix, it's crazy. Please forgive me. All the videos will go up. Trust me. But I may be a little bit late. Also, my parents have really bad. They live way out in the country. They've not the best internet so I might be trekking into McDonald's every day <laughs> to upload my videos that is okay though my uh, neighbors kids they're grown with their own kids actually come and take over our house while we leave for Christmas they watch our cats which is great for us and then they have their own space um, to kind of spread out over Christmas and then they can just walk next door to their parents house for Christmas so it is a win-win for all of us all right so I have another movie quote for you I did bring my letter board and it says the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear we actually just watched this movie last night you guys know Elf. If you don't know that about me, it is one of my absolute all-time favorite movies. I laugh every time. I just, it makes me smile. So that movie is from Elf. There may be another Elf reference coming soon. We'll see. All right. Now, you guys cracked me up on this advent calendar. You were all like, I'm going out right now to get it. <laughs> like, like 10 or 15 of you were um, obsessed with going to find this calendar that it was on sale so I hope you found it it was available online all right one of the days that I got is the advanced protect and perfect intense serum this is actually the first boots number or I call it boots number seven it's number seven product that I ever tried and I still use it daily if you go into my makeup bag there is a tube of this and I really do love it okay and I'm gonna open another day today didn't I already get one of these? You guys, look at this. It's two eyeshadows that are almost the exact same color. This one's called Mink, and this one's called Wheat, she Wheat Sheaf. Okay, Booch, or number seven. You only had uh, 12 days. <laughs> you could have picked two different shadows. Anyway, these are colors I will actually use, so it's fine, but it's just, that's a little weird, I think. Anyway, I'm not mad about it. I'm happy. All right, Emma's lippy calendar. Here we go. It is day 21. She got this beautiful rusty rose color. It's very pretty. It looked great on her. And then last but not least, oh, I got my Ciate London. I'm so mad, you guys, when I painted my nails navy, which I'm so stinking in love with. This is like my signature nail color from now on, I feel like. I left the nail polish at home in the nail polish bin. Um, it's not like I have don't have 24 other colors to choose from for Christmas, but I'm a little bummed that I forgot the navy one. It's okay. It will, it will, it will be okay, right? Okay, so day 21, it says... Make it pop like pink champagne. I wonder if that is a hint to the color inside. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a mauve pink glitter. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. I think actually I'm going to take the red sparkly um, color, the color that I said looked like Dorothy's um, ruby red slippers from the Wizard of Oz and wear that for Christmas. So stay tuned because I'll probably do that color tonight. All right, so today's video is actually a book review. I have three books to review really quickly with you. But before we get started, my name is Christy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I am so happy to have you. Please comment below where you're from. Also give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscription button and let's go ahead and get started. So three books that I have read in the past little bit. You guys, I've talked about this before. I go through phases with reading where I'll read like five or six books in a row and then I don't read for a couple months and then I kind of do it again. So I have three books that I've read. The first one is Sophie Kinsella's My Not So Perfect Life. This was such a cute story. Also, for the most part, when I read, I like mindless reading, if that makes sense. I like just to escape for a little bit. Um, I do read some biog autobiographies, biographies, um, different things like that, but I really just like mindless kind of beach read fiction type things. So that's what these are today. Um, 
my not so perfect life was really really cute it took a bunch of twists and turns you know how some books you're like I know how it's gonna end this one I totally did not see coming and um, I really liked it it's about a girl and her mom died when she was a teenager she lived with her dad out in um, sort of the farmlands of England and she always dreamed of going to London and having like a corporate high-powered job which her dad totally didn't understand her dad is a little bit of an eccentric character and he always has sort of a scheme going like a get-rich-quick scheme and she tells all about all these things her dad has tried over the years that are pretty darn funny <clears throat> so she finally lands a job in London I mean she's getting paid nothing and um, <clears throat> her best friend has moved to America and posting all these things on, on Instagram about how great her life is. And so she feels like she has to do that too. So she's kind of painted herself into this beautiful world online, but in real life it is not going so well. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit, I thought it was gonna go in the direction of The Devil Wears Prada, but very quickly it takes a different turn. So I think you will like it. I, I don't think I've ever read a Sophie Kinsella book that I have not loved. So if you've not read her books, go pick one up. They're really fun. The next one actually was on a book review, I think by Veronica Foley. I will link her channel below. And I think she might have reviewed this one when she was doing a vlog vlogist back in August. And it's called The Red Notebook and is by Antone Lorraine. Again, I will post all these books down below. And it is set in France. So, and the guy is a book, the main character sort of is a bookshop owner. So there's a lot of literary references. There's a lot of French names throughout the book. So I kind of had to stumble through those a little bit. But they, they talk about like different things they eat. And um, I don't know, I thought it was a very interesting, super quick read, it is short. It is not very long at all. But basically the story opens up <clears throat> with a woman in her 40s she gets out of the car young 40s she gets out of the car um, she had been to a party I believe and she gets mugged and someone steals her purse and then um, a guy the next morning finds a purse the main character in a trash can and kind of becomes obsessed with finding her and giving her the things in the purse really you, there were photographs and like little pebbles and this really old antique mirror and some different things and he becomes obsessed with trying to find her to give her her purse back um meanwhile she actually got hurt during the mugging and is in a coma so it's a very interesting little story you kind of in a way see how it's going and has a happy ending and is tied up very beautifully in a red bow but it's a cute little story. I could totally see, I could relate to the story very much. I could see where like I would maybe find somebody's purse and be kind of be obsessed with like finding them and giving back this possession that they had. Um, anyway, I really did like it. Again, a very easy, simple read. And it's probably not like one that a lot of people haven't heard. So I was actually happy to find this little gem. And then the third book is called Merry and Bright. I read a little Christmas book because of course it's Christmas. It is a Debbie Maycumber book and it is just easy, an easy read. Um, totally predictable but totally adorable. It is about a character, the first character's name is Mary, Mary and the second character's name is Jason Bright. So it's Mary and Bright. He is her boss. She's a temp at a, um, a corporate job and they start talking online. Um, actually her mother and her brother, she has a special needs brother, signed her up for a dating site and then his cousin actually met someone on a dating site. So as a lark he kind of signed up too and then they they kind of started talking and through the whole book they're talking and they go to meet and she actually figures out that it's him and he's not very nice to her at work because he's under a lot of pressure and it's kind of their whole um relationship through the book through like emails and things and then he keeps thinking about her and she keeps thinking about him and it's really cute again a super easy read i read it in probably two days so it's very fast not mind-boggling at all like i said it ties up very pretty um in a red neat bow at the end and you can kind of predict how it goes but it's so adorable i actually wish that she would write another book based on these two characters because they were just adorable anyway so those are my three books i hope that if you're reading you will comment below what you are enjoying right now because i know i'm going to read the new anna ferris book that i got in my 
um, uh, a pop sugar box last month, but I'm gonna, I'm in the mood to read a couple other things. So let me know what you're liking right now. And I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day 22. Bye.